What on earth is going on here, son? What are you doing over here, son? You ain't supposed to be over here messing with this stuff. No, you ain't supposed to be over here. No. You got yourself in a, in a mess. Yeah, you got yourself in a mess. How am I gonna get you out without you biting me? Huh? This ain't gonna be no fun. Hey folks, Mike and McGee here. As you know, I've been trapping coyotes and I've been doing fairly good. I've caught a couple. And I want you to look here. I have caught my dog and <laughs> he's still in the trap. I've got to get him out. He was growling earlier when I come by and uh, so I went and got this board so I could get him off safely without him biting me or me having to hurt him. But now he's acting a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and snap this leash on him just in case the pain does get to him. So anyway, let's get him out of this trap. I don't want him to be in this trap any longer. Come back here, buddy. Good boy, good boy. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna, I don't have the board between me and him, but the trap is sitting in a decent position. I'm just gonna hold his collar, step on this side, push this side down. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. <clears throat> All right, he's out. All right. Now, he's not gonna wanna put no weight on it for a while because it's been clamped for a while. Yeah, my boy, poor boy. Poor boy, what are you doing over here? We keep him in a fenced-in area and uh, he's a pretty high-bred uh, bird dog. We have a dog that we let run loose, and he don't even come over here. This thing, we're probably, I don't know, half a mile from the house. And so we were gone yesterday evening and got back after dark. Didn't know, I don't know when he got out, but when we went out to feed him this morning, he was out and gone. We didn't know where he was. And so I come to check my traps, and here he is. You better learn to stay in your fence, old buddy. Yeah, you gotta stay in that fence, old buddy. Oh, so really, I don't know what the moral of this tale is. Well, he's putting weight on it. Oh, he's dragging me. Let's go. Well, as you can see, he's limping a little bit, but I'm surprised he's already putting weight on it. I think the moral of this story is traps don't really hurt uh, as bad as what the anti-trapping people like to say. Yeah, it hurts, but it doesn't do permanent critical damage. And uh, he's already putting weight on it. He did need to pee, evidently, which I can't blame him. I don't think I'd want to pee if I was stuck in a trap either. Way to go, buddy. Way to let it all out. Maybe a coyote comes by and smells this and smells where he's been. Maybe a coyote to go in there. You know, he's pretty lucky a coyote didn't come by last night because if one had, they could have easily killed him in that trap and eat him. So you're lucky that you were alone all night. Yes, you are. So. We're gonna get on out of here and get to the house, put him back in his pen. I don't know how in the world he got out. He's been in living there for three years. But anyway, little old interesting thing happens just about all the time. You never know what's gonna be happening next at McGee Homestead, but we're gonna get on out of here. We'll see you on the next video.